So once you log into PandaDoc, the dashboard is going to be the first thing you see. So we need to head over to the left hand side and select templates. And in PandaDoc, they give you this awesome thing called the template gallery. So all I did was find a template in a sales proposal and use this as our starting point. You can leave in or take away as much information as you want, but these are great to get you going. So from this, I created a scoping contract and invoice template, which is pretty simple and straightforward. It's just got a logo, design and build phase, and then a couple of variables. This is client.first name, the last name. Scroll down, you can see the sender information, some information about what we're actually doing. And then here we have a variable called deal.projectscope, and we'll come back to that in a minute. This is going to bring in some information from our deal in HubSpot and then merge it into this document. So once you've created a template, we're going to actually want to connect PandaDoc to HubSpot. And PandaDoc have a really good native integration. So go to the top left menu, press select, scroll down to settings, find integrations, go over to HubSpot and toggle it on. To connect, press connect, select the right account, scroll down, press grant access, and then confirm you're not a robot. Okay, so it should be connected. Let's check by going to deals, opening up a deal you want to be working with. In this case, to be this one. Here we go. And on the right hand side menu, if you scroll down, you should see a PandaDoc module on the bottom right hand corner. Open this up. And then we have this Create Document and Actions button. One thing you might want to check is we need to first match up some information from PandaDoc to our HubSpot variable. So if you click Actions, you can see Show Panda.tokens. Tokens. Select this, select the Deal tab, then you can see what variable names each field within HubSpot has been given. We're going to need this to pass information from PandaDoc into HubSpot correctly. So one thing we might want to check is the project scope. So if you look for the project scope, you can see here it's called deal.projectscope. And here's the variable value that we have for this particular project. Let me show you where that lives. So if we close this, down here we have the project scope. And here is the scope for this project. Just reference PandaDoc quickly, back into our template. Scroll down. You can see that we have deal.projectscope here. If you need to customize your PandaDoc, you can do it very easily by going to the variables tab on the right and then adding a new variable with this plus button here. So back into HubSpot, all we need to do to generate a document for this particular deal is create, press this create document button. So let's give it a press. Loads up our template. The sender is going to be me, and the client is going to be also me. If we press start editing, it will load up our document with hopefully some fields merged across for us. Nice. So it's already picked up my first name and last name, although in this case it's the client, which is also me. If you scroll down, you can see it's created by me and the company name. Scroll even further, and it's pulled in the project scope. There we go. If you want to go in and actually send this document straight away, you can press send document via email, and you can actually give it a name. There we go. 
Press save and continue. And then just press send document. Okay, nice. You can close this. If you want, you can go ahead and fill and sign it yourself within Pandadoc. Sign it. Okay. Date is today. And press finish. The same version of this will now go, as has already gone out to the client. And then you can go ahead and sign it once it arrives in the inbox. Back in Tablespot, let's close this window now. Back in the bottom right hand corner, you can see that this document has been generated and the status is sent with a link to the document here with the option to download it on the Actions tab. If you did want to add any automation in from within HubSpot yourself, you can go to the Automation tab at the top, press Workflows, go to Create Workflow. This is going to be deal-based. Give it a name. You call it design agreed, create okay, press next. The enrollment trigger is going to be a deal. And it's going to be the stage is design agreed. Apply the filter. Okay, we've got this one. Let's actually move it to. Press save and the action is going to be to send an in-app notification to, it's going to send it to me it's going to be new design agreed There you go. Design has been agreed. And then merge in the deal name. Deal information. Agreed for. Please generate the panda doc. Okay, this is just a bit of an automation that you can do natively within HubSpot to alert any team members as to when you need that document creating. Hope you've enjoyed this simple integration between PandaDoc and HubSpot. It really improves uh, workflows and makes everyone's lives a lot easier. If you did want to automate it, you could go and do the whole thing in Zapier, but sometimes on contracts, it's good to have a little bit of control. Enjoy and speak to you soon. Bye.